Hello, this is Capcom vs. SNK Pro on Dreamcast. I'm gonna play the, whatchamacallit, arcade mode, or yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I, I set the game on difficulty 6 of 8 last time, and that kind of worked. Uh, so let's try that again. Default is 2 of 8. But, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just so tough. I'm actually not tough. I'm, don't, don't watch this if you want to see, like, actual good, good play. I just play boneheadedly. Uh, mm, so yeah, arcade mode. I was thinking maybe I'd just play like a, like a, uh, Ryu and Ken team or something, and then I'd get to fight geese. And, you know, Ryu and Ken, but then I just rolled up my uh, random team generating script anyway, and it gave me an interesting team, so I guess I'll try that. It gave me EX Terry, it's a uh, triangle and square, wait, triangle and, triangle and circle? Uh, EX Terry and EX E Honda. Placement cable for my Kuro VGA box finally came today out of the blue. There was no uh, no local tracking on it once it got to the States or anything. I had I I originally when I got my Kuro like two years ago I had kinda thought it was from the Middle East somewhere, but I this terry color is wild. Um, I hadn't, I, I didn't remember why I thought that. When I tried looking them up, they actually are very careful not to have any mention on their site, and I couldn't find anything by Google as far as where the Bihar Bros, as their company is called, are located. In fact, the, the closest I could guess from what I found was that they were in Hong Kong, because there was some kind of Hong Kong mention about where their stuff came from or something? I don't remember. Um, EX Terry, let's see here. So he's got that, it's not a fireball, it just sort of he punches the ground and the ground explodes. Uh, he's got a back punch, got a back kick, got a uppercut kick. That's interesting, is that his rising tackle? So forward punch, back punch, back kick, uppercut kick. Oh, I burn knuckle is back punch. Um. So yeah, but uh, this this cable I ordered for the Kuro, it's the thing that plugs into the back of the Dreamcast and then plugs into the Kuro VGA box. It's a short little like four and a half inch long cable, very stiff too, and that was the problem I had with it. Uh, I had ended up having the Kuro on kind of an awkward spot because it's such a stiff cable, you can't just place it where you want. It's a short, stiff little cable. It has to be like right behind the Dreamcast, and I didn't have a great spot for that, so the cable was sort of wrenched around where I was having the, the box sit, which way it wasn't level with the Dreamcast, and it wasn't straight out to back. Um, and uh, so that apparently got something out of whack with the, I think it was specifically with the cable plug that goes into the VGA box itself. Somehow that socket or the, the plug, rather, got, got a little unstable, and so sometimes it would just get loose, and then I sound would drop out of one stereo channel. That's why I ordered a replacement. And the replacement was only like five bucks, and there's like ten bucks shipping, I don't know. Um, 
And in fact, the, if you get a Kuro from them now, it's got a totally different type of, of plug where this cable goes into... Well, it's a different cable, too. So it's got a different kind of plug and a different kind of cable from the Dreamcast to the box. I think it's still a short, stiff-type cable, but the, the plug is a different type. And we just thinking maybe they changed it because... Um, because the old one had this problem that it could get a little loosened up or something. Okay, so... So forward is his non-fireball, back is burn knuckle with punch, so I gotta do back kick and uppercut kick. That's crack shoot. Well, that's power dive, so he doesn't have rising tackle in the EX. That didn't look like he was going to go that far. Okay. I, I've never been good with Crack Shoot. Uh, and uh, what's the other one called? Power Dive. Not particularly skilled with that one. It's just, it's hard for me to tell where those are going to land, you know? Whereas like Burn Knuck, well you know where that's going. That's going straight across the screen. Benny Mar was scared. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get it. Yeah, the light is still. That was accidental. I meant to do a burn knuckle. Can't dodge forever, Benny. Um. So, so six and a half weeks after I placed the order on their website uh, was today, because I ordered it, I think February fourteenth or something, and it just showed up today. I had no idea what this was when the mailman knocked on my door, because there was yeah, it didn't even show up on domestic tracking. I guess it just just showed up. The, I think the last tracking message I got, and it never like emailed me. I had to punch it in manually because it was an international tracking number, I suppose. It was just like it had checked through somewhere in Turkey, through Turkey's uh, mail system. Like, okay, well, there's a Middle East connection. And I don't think they would have sent it from Hong Kong through Turkey or something. So, uh, anyway, the package came today. It's a tiny little package, uh, but the return address on it, it doesn't say Bihar Brothers or anything like that. In fact, it says, it says T. Bihar, like, like one of the bros. Like, I don't know what T stands for. Tony? Teddy? Some, probably some Turkish name. Um, I wonder how many bros there are. Hey, thanks for the knife. Oh, whoops, sorry. I just I just broke your knife, man. I hope you got another one. Oh man. Oh he did his he did his slumped over right there. He does his slumped over uh, pose that he does when you beat him. I never noticed that. Oh man, you're getting you're getting wasted, dude. Oh actually he's not. We're doing a lot of trades, aren't we? Uh-oh. <laughs> I love that pose. So, uh, yeah, TBR, and it's just, uh, the, the return address is just an apartment in Istanbul. So, I guess that's where at least one of the Bihar bros is. Just in an apartment in Istanbul, rigging up cool custom Dreamcast gear, you know? So thank you, Bihar Bros. We are getting these crisp colors and sounds through your VGA box. This is the Kuro. It's not the most expensive one, but the, the cool thing the Kuro does, I guess, is that uh, It can get VGA 
it, it can do out VGA out through with games that don't actually have VGA output. You can switch it. There's a switch on the box that lets you switch between VGA and I don't know whatever the other one is called. Maybe it's just RGB or something. Um, uh, yeah, I think it is RGB is what it says. So that means that you can you can still output video and sound through the through the Kuro to a VGA box to a what am I, what am I trying to say or to a, well yeah to a VGA out in the same sound out plugs. Uh, you can use it with any Dreamcast game, not just those that support the VGA box. So you can use it with, uh, what's that, Capcom? Um, JoJo's Strange Adventure that, that doesn't have VGA support. In theory, I, I actually have not reacquired it, JoJo's, to try that on. Uh, what was I using it on? Oh, I think I was using it on Third Strike. Yeah, I was using it with Third Strike. Um, this Third Strike for Dreamcast does not support the VGA box. Or, well, it was specifically the the 240p mode of Third Strike, and, and that did not support the VGA box because the VGA, or that did not support normal Dreamcast VGA out, which is, I guess, always 480p. I don't know. Anyway, that, it didn't work with the uh, Third Strike's 240p mode, but I could get the 240p through the Kuro by switching it to the, the other setting, RGB or whatever it is. And it still comes out nice and crisp, so that's cool. That was totally accidental. That just came out on its own. That's how good I am. I guess I haven't even, haven't even got to use Honda yet. Terry's too, Terry's too tough. Even on difficulty six, Terry, you gotta calm down. These burn knuckles, like his burn knuckle, is not nearly this easy to hit with in KOF 2000. Oh shoot! Yeah. Oh Yuri. Oh god. Oh man, she's just ranking on me. Ah. Oh man. Oh man. This is sad. <laughs> I, she was just faster than me in every way. I kept using heavies instead of lights. Alright. She's, she's faster than Ihana. Go figure. So what do we got for EX Ihana anyway? We've got the slaps. We've got the uh, flying torpedo or whatever. That's that horizontal charge move. We've got the down up. Oh, it's down up kick. Ah, I just tried to do it with punch. That's why that didn't work. Wow. Wow. Uh, difficulty six Yuri is, is uh, rambunctious. Come on, I'm gonna use my move. Come on. Come on, Rio. What are you scared of, man? You just running out the clock on me? There you go. Oh. I really can't use up down charge moves. There we go. Arg. Arg. <laughs> I uh I whiffed something. I hit the wrong button. 
That was bad. Um, so Yuri just wasted me, and I didn't do anything about it. Uh, I was using triangle and circle. Let's do triangle and, uh, triangle and what is this, X? Does that work? No, triangle and square then. So yeah, I started to get a little full of myself. And that's what happens. We're braced. Okay. Oh yeah, purple Terry, wow. Where's that lavender? I call his pants lavender. Okay, now I'm getting ruled by Dan. She's just gonna telepathically jump. No. Yeah, I see what. So I couldn't get this going on her before. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a full screen. But that's not EX Rio. Regular Rio has a full screen fireball. Uh oh. Ouch. Did the same thing. Ah, the sweep. Rio goes to the sweep again. So according to my theory of what boss you face, I had a 50% chance of facing uh, the SNK boss or the Capcom bosses because my team was 50% in ratio points. There's two ratio points, SNK and two, uh, two Capcom. And of course, I got the... Capcom bosses because that's all the game is interested in letting me fight lately. Well, this is what I should have been doing all along because Boxer's famous weakness is fireballs, and it's kind of a fireball, and he almost killed me. I uh, you know camouflage in these purple flames. Oh, that that goes that far. Okay, I kind of thought it wouldn't. I was optimistic that it would not travel that far. Oh yeah, I still have my hand there. 
Okay. Okay, that's... This is not working. Didn't work. Boy. I should probably put Terry second to use his, uh, his, his punchy, his flying punchy thing, because Dictator was not really blocking that, but I don't want to, I wanted to fight Boxer as well. I don't know. Myself. I, I can break myself. Mistake and jump forward. Oh shoot! I I didn't mean to do that, but uh, cool. Stupid fly in the loop in the air thing to keep him out of trouble, apparently. Uh, Alright. Yeah, flying more loops in the air, you jerk. Find a good, uh, good normal for Holland. I suppose maybe heavy kick. I didn't try that. But thank goodness, Dictator didn't feel like blocking Burn Knuckle. So yeah, I had been playing on difficulty 4, I was afraid 6 would make Dictator even more of a jerk, but it didn't really, it didn't really, but it also, like, I waited through those regular matches way too easily. Maybe Terry's just too tough, I don't know. Anyway, go Terry. much going there with the Honda. I thought I played Honda in this and done pretty well with him before. That would have been on difficulty four, but I don't know. I didn't, didn't really get a feel for him here. And no, I definitely did play EXE Honda before because I remember thinking then I ended up facing 
the Capcom bosses, and I remember thinking maybe I had the wrong theories about which boss I would face back then. I think they're correct now, so in theory I did have a 50% chance of fighting Geese, who I would very much prefer to fight because he's not as... He doesn't fly in loops in the air so much, and he's just cooler. But, uh, still, still, it's still holding the geese back from me. I am, I'm on a geese ban, according to this game lately. So that was, that was why I was thinking I would play just Ryu and Ken. It's also a thing about, um, evil Ryu. He's pretty fun. But... Maybe once I get really, really sick of Dictator. I'm just I'm just pretty sick of him now. I'm not really sick of him. It helped that he was not blocking me. Terry's big flying punch. So that was good. It didn't really help that nobody else was blocking it either. That just kind of made it too easy. In fact... Did anybody block? Okay, this might be another bug. Did anybody block Terry's burn knuckle? Because I know there's a bug, for instance, with Morgan's fireball, where the AI just does not see her fireball coming, and they do not block it. So I had to stop playing Morgan. I had to take her out of my team building script. So let's try. I should have kicked it up to difficulty eight. Oh well. Um, let's just do Terry. I'm just gonna hit uh, uh, X and uh, uh, give it. Wait, is there no... Where is there a Ryu? Right there he is. Oh, I took... Uh, I, I can't... I can't pick stuff. Show me your nest? I always thought it said show me your next, but that sounded like nest. Is this part of the nests saga? Okay. See, they... They may jump to avoid it. Oh, he blocked it. Okay, well, so it's not a Morgan situation. They just don't block it very much. Yeah, they sure don't block it much. I mean, he blocked it once. Yeah, I hate Balrog. If I hate him more than I hate Dictator. Jeez. He's, uh, he's really fast. started off poorly. I did not want to be having to test the punch thing over and over on claw. Well, that was sweet. Oh, shit. Ah. Alright, I didn't mean to take Kyo. I suck with Kyo. Of how I 
suck against Brawl Roller. Come on, come on! Round one, fight. All right, you know, I'm trying to test something. Uh, uh. This one I haven't blocked it. He blocked it once last time. Could that have just been a like accidental block? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. doesn't know how to block it. Okay. Which would mean I can't play Terry. this. Uh-huh. I mean, blocked it a little. He blocked it 50% of the time, which was 50% more than he blocked Terry.
Yeah, I think, uh, I think the AI is broken against Terry. At least against Boom Knuckle. Hey, come on, come on! Round one, fight. So if you want an easy team, be, take Terry and Morgan. I think also Nakaruru had a, a projectile type attack that they were not blocking. Not sure about that. Oh wait, well, he blocked. He blocked again. Ryden. Ryden knows what to do. I wonder if Ryden can also block Morgan's fireball. Drop kick a fireball, big guy? Oh, but he can't do it. Oh, and there he's blocking. Well, Raiden's a weirdo. I like that Capcom artist portrait of Terry. What's weird is that, uh, like, I think this bug, I think I checked it with Morgan's fireball was in Capcom vs. SNK, regular version. Why did I check that? I, I don't know, anyway, I think I verified that somehow, and, uh, they didn't fix it in pro, you know? Like, did nobody notice? I did check it in CBS 2, right? Morgan's Fireball, the yeah, AI could block it in CBS 2. I think I've already 
seen all these. Not blocking, maybe. Hey, come on, come on! Round one, fight. There's a light. These others have all been heavy. Block is pretty brainless, anyway. At least back when I played on difficulty four, he was usually pretty brain dead. Oops. Okay. Uppercut motion was. Is that punch or kick? Wait, what? Oh, this is regular Terry. Ah, oh, shoot. I've been testing regular. T no! See, there was no EX Morgan to check. No EX Knocker Ruru either. Um, so they're broken against EX Terry's burn knuckle. Or regular Terry's burn knuckle. to fight geese, but I don't care. Well, we get to see if geese is uh, in better with the burn knuckles. <laughs> geese. Oh, <laughs> he just says geese. That's awesome. Geese. Well, I guess I'm not going to see this again since I'm going to have to scratch Terry off my playlist. Shit, 
So that was regular Terry. Just for completion's sake, I, I meant to check EX Terry and I forgot to uh, do the EX thing. Hit triangle and let's do it again. Hey, come on, come on, Here I go. Round one fight. <laughs> Oh, she blocked, but was that just because I did it too fast after the wake up? I think that's what it was. Yeah, it looks like the only times, aside from Raiden maybe, that they actually block. It looked like he was blocking there, but he just didn't. Uh, is is it times when they automatically, automatically block, like on wake up? See, he looks like he's blocking there, but he's not. That was a light. That was on wake up. <laughs> I went to roll there and somehow didn't. So yeah, EX Terry, same, same difference. Ugh, great can. Well, I guess I got to scratch Terry and EX Terry from my team building. That blows. I guess it'll get me back closer to fighting geese less infrequently. Hey, come on, come on! Since, uh... Various SMK ratio points, and the more SMK ratio points you have, the more likely you are, in my theory, to fight Capcom bosses instead of geeks. Good for this game, like Morgan. The AI cannot handle what he's bringing. So, uh, so I guess I'm not gonna play Terry anymore in this. I, I'll play him in KOF 2000. Uh, yeah. Well, shucks. Um, what can you do? 
they had they had this game to fix it in. They didn't fix it. I don't know if it's broken in the regular one, but it probably is. Probably not broken in CVS 2. But uh, who cares about that game? Okay, so, so thanks for watching uh, this playthrough. And then it turned out it was still too easy, even though I had the difficulty on 6, because the AI has not been taught how to block Terry's burn knuckle or EX Terry's burn knuckle. Except maybe Raiden, may, maybe? I, I don't know. That was, that was pretty weird. Maybe Raiden's the smartest of all. Uh, so anyway, I play this game... Well, I'm going to be playing it twice a week now, is the plan. Mondays, which was today, Monday, and uh, Thursday, right? Yes. Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, I will not be playing Terry in it anymore because of what we just found. Um, I am also playing... Marvel vs. Capcom 2 twice a week. I'm playing that on Sundays and Wednesdays. So uh, we'll have an episode of that coming up Wednesday and then another episode of this on Thursday. Uh, and I play... Well, I guess I only... Wait. Playing, oh, two other fighting games now. I'm playing uh, the aforementioned King of Fighters 2000, which does have Terry in it sometimes twice a week, that's Fridays and Saturdays, and I am now playing Virtua Fighter 5 quest mode, currently with Jackie Bryant on, uh, what does that leave, Tuesdays? Tuesdays, so that's tomorrow, get some Virtua Fighter 5, excited about that, I, I stopped playing Virtua Fighter 5 a year ago when I found that the AI, it's all about AI problems. The AI in Virtua Fighter 5's quest mode, anyway, cannot defend against throws. As you go up in rank and they go up in rank, they get really hard to hit with punches and kicks, but no harder to hit with throws. So you just end up throwing them constantly for easy wins. So uh, I, I had to stop playing, but it finally occurred to me, wait, I can just remove the buttons that let me execute a throw, and, and I can't throw and then I can't exploit the AI's blind spot to throws in Virtua Fighter 5, and then I can play it at uh, something like the intended difficulty, and that actually kind of worked. It's too bad there's no button to disable Terry's burn knuckle. I, I'd have to disable both the punch buttons, and that, that would not be... that not be great. Uh, so, uh... Yeah, overcoming AI problems. In this case, I'm just gonna just gonna have to scratch poor Terry, join Morgan, and maybe Nakaru in the uh, too good for the AI bin. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, good night.